Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change watercolor based upon biomes by using Optifine. Now, this is just a regular look here. This is what you'd normally expect. Water is all the same color. Left-hand side there, that's plains. And then I'm standing on some badlands right there. And just over there to the right, there's a little bit of desert poking in right there. And the watercolor is all exactly the same. Let me switch over now to a resource pack that's being run through Optifine. And we'll click into Options and then Resource Packs. And here's my water pack right there. Let me just load that in. It's now active. And then back into the game. Again, let this reload that resource pack. And done. And back to game. And now, there you go. A brighter blue right here. And this has got magenta for the Badlands. And then right down here, the desert has gone brown. Notice also, right there, I have two colors. There is Badlands color a little bit because I have some Badlands poking in here. And there's desert color because desert is right there. So it's actually mixing the colors a little bit right at that spot. Kind of interesting little effect. So let me show you how I did that. The first thing you'll need to do is to install Optifine. You can see mine is right here. Or for installations, you see it's right there. So if you don't have Optifine installed, then you need to download and install Optifine. Let me take over to the Optifine website. And it's right here. And there's a link. I'll put this link in the description as well. So you can just click on that. And then go here to the Downloads page. There it is. There's the download for Optifine. Now if you're working in a different version than 1.18.1, just click on Show All Versions. And you can find the Optifine version for your current version of Minecraft right down there. Okay, so I'll just click on this. Now you get this little add window, upper right hand corner, just wait for this into time down and then it's gonna be saying in a second here, skip, click on skip, and then there is the download button. And then download this to a location on your hard drive that you can find again easily. I've made a new folder here I call packs. We'll be building our resource pack in this packs folder. So I'll choose save right there. And there it is. Notice that this is a jar file and to launch this you just double click and it's going to then install Optifine into Minecraft for you. Now if you see a different logo up here, that means that you have a different program set up to run jar files. Maybe you have WinRAR set up to extract jar files, something like that. In that case, you need to get this set back to running in Java. You can right click, choose Open With, and hopefully you'll see it right here. Then it's Open With right there. If you don't see it right here, choose another app. Take a look in your list down here. If you only see that, just click down below that and you get more in here and you should see Java down here someplace. If you don't, if it's not showing up at all for you, then I recommend that you reinstall Java, make sure it's up to date. And that should also reset this back to being opened up by Java. And it's right here at java.com. And again, I'll put that link in the description. Okay, that's all taken care of. We need just a few more things here to start off with. One is you'll probably want to get your own pack PNG. This is just a square picture at 256 by 256. This just shows up next to your resource pack inside of Minecraft when you choose which pack you're running. That's all that is. If you want to, you can use the default one. I'll show you where you get the default one in just a bit. Here's the default color map for coloring grass inside of Minecraft, but this will not let you change the color of water, and we need that. And for that, we're going to be using a different layout, which is what Optifine does right here. This is a grid layout, much easier to use. Across the width here, this is the biome number, and the height is the altitude, the Y position in the game. Let me show you where you can get this sample. Let me bring up that website. And this right here, it's the document section for Optifine. And again, I'll put this link in the description so you can find that. And then click into Images right here. And there is that template right there, Biome Grid Template PNG. Now, you don't have to have that. We're not going to be actually using it. But this is a good way to easily understand exactly how this whole thing is working. Next, we need to set up just a few folders in here. And we're going to be building this and placing this into a resource pack. So let's set up our resource pack folders. We'll start off here with New Folder. And this one is Assets. Inside of Assets, New Folder, and this one is Minecraft. Then inside of Minecraft, New Folder, and this one is Optifine. And we'll build everything inside the Optifine folder, except for the basic resource pack stuff. And finally, let's go inside of here and make a new folder. And this one is for a color map. And we'll put our color map file right inside there. All right, now let's go and take a look and see how the color map works. You can make your own grid color map in any graphics program you want to. I'll be using Photoshop Elements just because it's easy to use for this particular project. There we go. And I'll just drag it in here to open that. And there is that file. Now if we zoom in and look at the left-hand side in here, you can see we have all these real thin lines. Now what this is, if you look at this going across this way, this is the X dimension, left to right. All of these are different biomes in here. So each biome has its own color. And then the length down here, this is going from 0 up to, in this case, 256. 
So back in Minecraft, I was standing close to the beach and I was at about 80 on the Y coordinate and that's right about here. So here's the color range that I'd be at and seeing things at this point. Now we need to know which X dimension across the top here is used for each one of the different biomes. And we'll be making our own map with just color in the parts that we're going to be changing. Make this nice and easy. If I use this, it would be changing a lot of other stuff I don't want to have changed. So again, this is just a sample to look at. So let's start off by making a brand new file here. File, new, blank file. And I'm going to set this to pixels. And we'll be setting this at 256 by 256. And resolution of 72, which is OK. And I'll put a new layer on top of this layer. There we go. And then if I grab my marquee tool here and go right to that five, if I come in here and just make a selection like this, just a little thin one and pull that back a bit, that selection is now one pixel wide. So this is going to be a color range for just one biome. Now we need to know where along this thing, each one of our biomes is going to be placed. So for that, I have another website to take a fast look at. Let's switch over there. And here we go. This is on minecraft.phantom.com. I'll put this link also in the description. And this is a list of all the biomes. And then on the right hand side is the number right there for the biome. Now one of our biomes is plains, so that is number one. There it is. One of our biomes was desert, and that's right down here. There's desert, and that's five. And then one of our biomes was the badlands. I'll just scroll down here a little bit. There's the badlands right there, and that's 25. So my biomes I'm using are one, five, and 25. Let's now go back and take a look at our color map. So the plains biome is at one, and that's wherever here. Notice it begins at zero at the top there. So I come in just one spot right there. That is one, that's biome one. So I'm gonna pull this straight down. I'm not gonna worry about the width right now to get to the very bottom. Here it is, and I'll back up just a little bit. And that's now one pixel wide. So there is the line that stands for plains biome. And I'll fill it with a color. For this, I'm just gonna give it just kind of a medium blue color right there. And I'll grab my paint bucket and just fill that. There we go. All right, that one is done and then control D to deselect that. Same thing. Our next biome is the desert and that's at five and there's the five right here. So for this one, come up to the top here and then I'll pull down a selection like this again, clear down to the bottom and I'll back that up until it's just one pixel wide and that's our desert. So I'll change my color again in kind of a brown color. There we go. Choose okay and I'll fill that. And again, like I said, you can do this in any graphics program at all. It's not that difficult to make this set up. And our last one is at 25. That's a bad lens. That's right up here where it says 25. And I'll pull straight down on this again, right down to the bottom and then make that fit at 25. There it is. And we did kind of a magenta in here. So I'll go over here to my colors again and up into the magenta range. And I'll give it a nice bright magenta, maybe a little bit darker than that. And okay. And again, the paint bucket and fill that and then control D to deselect. So there's our basic color map. If I back out a little bit on this, you can see the lines right there. Now one problem about this at this point and that's that the background is white, which would make all the rest of the biomes of water be white. I'll just maximize the view here and then we wanna change this white color to a nice blue for use everywhere else that we're not actually changing the water color. So let's first find a good blue over here and we'll find something, you know, looks pretty good right there. I'll leave that, that's all right choose that and then I'll fill this with blue grab the paint bucket click in here and there we go so now when we're not changing the color to something else it'll be this nice blue color I'll now save this out two times up here to file come down to save and the first time I'll save it as optifying color map and it's a Photoshop file choose save and it'll save me some work let's now save it out for use in the game file save as and this time let's go into the final location for this and that's in the color map folder right here and it's going to be a png file which is right there and the name of this is water so let me just back up for that water.png and choose save and okay and now that's all set we can go ahead and get to work on making the resource pack there we go there is my photoshop file for use in the future and our new color map is right inside of here and the next thing we need is a file that tells Optifine to actually use that color map. And this one's easy to make, and you can make this in any text program. I happen to like using Notepad++ for all of my programming type editing. So I'll bring that program up. There we go, and this one's real easy. And it needs to say palette.format equal sign and grid, since we're using a grid format color map. The encoding right here needs to be set for ANSI, so set that to ANSI. And then file, doing a save. 
and you're saving it into this folder right here. This is the Optifine folder, not inside Color Map, just in the Optifine folder. And the name of this file is also pretty easy. It's just color.properties. And choose Save. And that's done. Let's get that out of the way. And you'll see it right there. Okay, that's all taken care of. And now we need to build the actual resource pack. And for that, we need three basic things. Our assets folder with our files in it, a pack PNG file over here, and we also need to have a pack.mc meta file. And that doesn't come with Minecraft 118.1 or even 117. So if you have an earlier version of Minecraft, you can get it from that, or you can just download it from my website. I'll put a link for the download in the description. But let me show you where you can get this if you have an earlier version of Minecraft. I'll go up here to the launcher, and then over here, right hand side, click on a folder. It doesn't matter which one you click, these all go to the exact same place. So click on our folder. This brings up the Minecraft folder in the game. Come down to versions, which is right here. And I'll use 16.5 because I have a 16.5 on my computer. Open this up and you want that .jar file right there. Now if you don't see the .jar, go up here to view, click on that, and come down to show and choose file name extensions. This is for Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, then you click on the view tab and put a check next to file name extensions. All right, let's get that out of the way. And then I'll just take this and just right drag it over here and copy. Let's just get this out of the way for right now. Now click into the name and then type over .jar and make it say .zip and then choose yes. It becomes a zip file. Then right click, open a new window. There it is and you get this big long list right down here. So I'll scroll way down and get down into the P's. I'll go real fast here. And it's right there, there's the pack MC meta. And I'll just right drag it over here and copy. Now next to that file is also the pack PNG. This is the default one, it's just the grass block one. If you don't want to make your own, you can use that one. It's just fine. Okay, we're done with that. There's our pack MC meta. Now I have this opening up inside of Notepad++ again. I'll bring this up, double click. Just two things to do in here. First off, if you're in 118.1, just change the number here to an eight and then give it a description. I'll just call this one Optifine Water. There we go, and save, and that's done. And we're now ready to compile our resource pack into a zip file. So grab the assets folder, hold the control key down, get that pack MC meta and your pack PNG, right click and compress to zip if you're in Windows 11. There it is, I'll give it a name. I'll call it Optifine Water again. Now if you're in Windows 10, then just click on the share tab and click on zip, does the same thing. Let's now get this into the game. So I'll bring the launcher back up again. There it is, go back into that folder and come down to your resource packs, open that up. Here's our resource pack. I have the one for my sample right there. I'll just delete that. There you go, it's gone. And I'll put that right here. And then I'll take this one, just drag it in there. There we go. And it's now inside the game. Okay, close this down out of the way. And let's play the game. Click on play here, or if you're right over here, click on play. Make sure you're going to Optifine. And once we're at the title page, we can then activate that resource pack. Here we go, this is my custom title page. If you wanna see how I did this, I have some links to those videos in the description. We'll go down here to Options and Resource Packs. And then if you see your pack on the left-hand side over here, just click on that arrow. Make sure it's on the right-hand side. This is now activated and should be working in the game. Choose Done, Choose Done again, Single Player. And there's my sample world here for the biomes. And we'll see how this looks. There we go, there's the blue, there's our magenta, and over there is that mix of magenta and brown where the two biomes are touching. Let's take a look and see what it looks like out in the ocean. It looks fine. Nice blue water out there. And you can see right down here, we have a mix going on. And that is the desert area right out there, mixing with the regular water. This happens to be a river biome in there. So the color map is working perfectly. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.